Okay, hoping that we're live. Um, hey guys, welcome back to Crazy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install LSPDFR um, and show you that it works 100%. Alright, so yeah, I gotta find my stuff. For me, I usually use the manual installs because they're more stable. Um, I'm gonna gotta find it. There it is. All right. Okay. So for an instance, uh, for an instance, you're gonna run this right here. I'm not gonna do it because, well, actually, hang on. Let me see if I can find my manual install. Here it is. Okay, got it. All right. So you're going to take all these folders in here. You notice at the bottom here that there's a, hang on a minute, let me click it. There's a RageHook plugin. You do not have to install another RageHook plugin or the latest one because LSPDFR comes with the latest one. So all you need to do really is just take these, take these files or whatever, find your Grand Theft Auto directory which mine is already saved. I pinned it, so just basically what you're going to do is you're going to take these and you're just going to drag and drop them in there. And this is going to completely, what it's going to do is it's going to move them all into there. All right. Now you may be wondering, what do I do next? Well, I'm going to show you what you do next. It's actually really fucking simple. Really simple. You notice I have an uninstall button here. You also have RageHook plugin, and by the way, I did not just install any RageHook plugin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna launch this baby. Um, and yes, you're gonna want to click unblock, otherwise they will not work. And oh, hang on, I got all these folders open. Give me a second here. And it's gonna do, ask you for your first port. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's, gonna, it's just going to run the, the program, and it's going to say elevated privileges detected. You want it to say that. You're going to hit OK. It's going to back up your game if you have it backed up. And then you're going to need all of these green. If you don't have all these green, it's not going to run. <clears throat> I mean, it will, but it'll suck. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys today. Um, I have mine on F. I'm going to put mine on F2 just because of that reason. Make sure that it runs LSPD. Load these plugins on startup. You're gonna save and launch, and it's gonna launch the game. And it's actually really that simple. Same thing with the automatic install. Run the Rage of plugin from in there. Do not, I repeat, do not download 34 Rage of plugin from the website because LSPDFR comes with the 100% guarantee of the latest Rage hook. So, it's going to launch the game, and just give me a second, and it'll, it'll launch it. Let me make sure my volume's down. My brother's trying to sleep. <clears throat> 52 is good enough. Mine takes a little bit, because mine's a slow laptop, but yeah, you'll get the hint. <coughs> Sorry. And it's going to launch the game hear my sound because I have an HDMI cord plugged into my laptop and for some reason I can't hear any of my sounds so through my laptop when that's working. Mine's well, gonna freeze for a second it usually does this it's thinking. I don't know why it exactly does it but it does it. Yours will probably won't do that but mine does. <sighs> Let's see if I can get some sound out of my TV. <laughs> um And no, most people made the tutorial, but they didn't show you guys that it actually works. I'm going to show you 100%. This is what the screen should pop up like. Just say initializing game support, velocity limit remove, patching code, waiting for game installation, initializing core, completing interoperability, and loading story mode. That's exactly what it should say. And in the bottom here, it should bottom, bottom, in the bottom, in the bottom, it should say loading story mode with rage hook plugin, rage plugin hook or whatever. And then it's going to launch the game. Mine's going to probably have texture loss in the beginning because I have mine saved at the police station. Or I might not have any textures. Last night it was working fine, but today it's just... 
I don't know. Every day is different with my computer. <sighs> my friends want me to do more live streams. I don't mind doing videos. I don't. I mean, tutorials on how to do stuff, but, uh, yeah. I'm just going to show you guys that it works, go to the police station, show you a couple new features that I know of that i found so far. That I've got an update today, so I might have better graphics and stuff, just so you guys know. This my Elgato has been really fucked up lately. That's why I've been using Bandicam. Alright, so it's going to pop up at that. You're going to think that it crashed. It didn't crash. And actually, mine loaded perfectly. Well, kind of. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, it'll... That's because I have an HDMI cord plugged in. You'll see these undercover cops outside here, blah, 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 whatever. You're going to go in here. And don't hit any of the officers, they don't like it. Apparently it's illegal. And I have texture loss in here, but yeah, mine crashed, but... <sighs> mine crashed because of the reason that my computer is running slow, and it's not plugged in. Oh, okay, whatever. But I'm gonna... Uh, let me relaunch it. Sometimes it usually takes one or two launches to get it to work. <sighs> Mine only crashed, remember, because...